Hello YouTube, this is Alexander Art again. Today I just want to talk to you about this stuff I love very much. This is um, Boost Converter, and uh, the story about that is uh, I when was I was uh, when I was uh, studying electronic, I was always searching for to how to to build my own converters like this, my, my own boosters because I was I was interested by to make. Uh, car amplifier when I was very young. A lot of my uh, research and studies was about this stuff, and it was it's absolutely amazing uh, to see how this kind of device are provided uh, from AliExpress or eBay for not very expensive price, and uh, and uh, it's a very uh, amazing. Uh, I found I think because this stuff um, are very uh, it's very hard to 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 build stuff like this because uh, if you make a little a little error the lot of component lot of component will uh, be destroyed instantaneously so it's very hard to make this device and so today you will find it on eBay for not a very expensive price and this is the reason why I have a lot of this stuff on my bench and I have a lot I have so many I have some of them here today and I would like just to to see the power of those device and see the reality about the the power they are rated on the advertising they talk about on Aliexpress or eBay so I just wanted to know with a special device I made today if they are uh, they are scam or not of course, you can uh, sometimes this kind of device are used for to charge a battery with a lower voltage battery because you know when you have to charge an higher voltage battery, you need to, to uh, convert the voltage with an extra voltage for to, for to create a current we, on the battery you need to charge. So those devices are, are sometimes used for this reason or for solar panel when you need to. Um, to create a voltage for to charge battery when you have not enough cell for to have enough voltage so the most common common uh, common use are the, this one and uh, this one is the less expensive or or, or this uh, tree device this one is rated for 150 watts and uh, it's very interesting how to see uh, uh, this is very amazing stuff because you can uh, do lots of things with it, with uh, rechargeable uh, batteries or for solar panel or to or simply make an amplifier with this stuff. This one is a newer piece, uh, more modern, like the uh, and like this one, which is uh, very hard now. This uh, stuff is rated for to give uh, 250 watts. Uh, you can provide it with. Uh, between 10 and 50 volts and you can have output between 10 and 50 volts too don't forget this little stuff uh, is very little and uh, very uh, there are there is not lots of components on, uh, on it and uh, and uh, of course it's give it's rated for to give 250 watts I really don't know it's uh, it's if it's cam or not but I, I will I want to to um, to test it and to, to see more about for this device you can uh, you need 20 euro or, or 20 bucks to have it but i think since a uh, long time now the price have decreased now and uh, so this device is rated for to give some 1200 watts you can feed the entry of this device between 10 and 60 volt and you have output between 12 and 80 volts on the output for 1200 watts i don't really know for the moment if this is scam or not so what you need to to know about this stuff this they are not uh, provided for to they are not made for to uh, work on 12 volt only because when you when you talk about boosters, boosters are uh, sometimes used for to convert 12 volt battery for another voltage for to make uh, some amplifier or some uh, for for charging for for uh, for supplying uh, main for main supplying. And so you need to know then maybe you want you need you have to test this device with um, 
12 or 24 volts. So for to test this device I have made this demi load. This demi load are very powerful res resistance resistor and uh, uh, they are as you can see here you, you can see the wire of the resistor. It helped me to to run with this with this cursor on the resistor and chose the resistor you need for to have a different voltage or different current or different power uh, according to the power uh, to output to the output of this device. So for this, for to calculate the power, uh, I will use this uh, very quick made uh, power meter. I made specially for the occasion, and uh, so. We will see further if uh, it's uh, it's display the good value, and uh, of course I have make uh, some adjustment on this device. What you need to know about this device, this is just a prototype, and the prototype is not perfect for this device for this use, and uh, uh, it gives a more um, enough accurate uh, value, but this is not the best uh, prototype I can make for the for the moment. I need to make to to to, to make it uh, more safety, more with a more with a better resistor, metallic resistor. In this case, so this is not uh, all the all uh, resistor uh, which are in metallic. This is not the case. So this is a very quick method for to just to make some measurement here. So for to supply this device, uh, all those those uh, booster. I have here um, some supply coming from computer server and I have both of, of them like you see here and you can uh, you can put in uh, put it on the serial for to have uh, 24 volt for to to test those device in 12 and in 24 volts so for to measure current uh, quickly measure current you have here this ammeter uh, this is very simple amp meter com coming from uh, from China's country as you see sorry and uh, you have this comp meter for to have uh, more accurate measurement because this uh, device is rated for 50 uh, amps and uh, those devices give 60 amps so uh, here I have some fan for cooling the, those devices. Maybe they probably get very hot when working, and uh, they probably need to be cooled with this uh, fan I made here. And for those those resistor, it's sure they will be very uh, very very hot. So I have here the um, fan for to uh, to cool up this uh, the resistor. They are. The are tube as you, as you can see and they need to be cooled for to work in safety so for the moment I need to to switch on the, the amp meter to plug the first the first booster here to switch on here the supply are switch on Let's just hook them up and uh, uh, see how it's uh, how it works. So, as you can see here, my uh, uh, power meter is connected, and uh, you have the first device. And uh, here you have a multimeter for showing the voltage uh, over uh, um, uh, over the output here. And uh, see, let's switch on. Okay, and the device uh, switch on. Uh, you have the voltage output here, and I'm going to to slip the my cursor on the resistor here to see the difference. And let, let's see how it does. As you can see, you can see 30 watts for one amp, 30 watts. And see now 70 watts for 30 volts because here you have the volts here you have the 
the the intensity uh, of the output so let's see how much uh, power on 12 volts because this is a 12 volt mod 130 watts for 33 volts here you can see 33 volts and uh, 126 watts and try more as you can see for 400 watts the voltage the voltage goes down and you have only 70 volts here so for 24 volts the maximum you expect for to have for to have 100 uh, 20 volts is uh, uh, 24 23 volts for to have 120 volts it's hot a lot okay now uh, let's connect it to uh, 24 volts See now, uh, you, are, you have always uh, 30 volts in the output, and let's see now from the beginning how much power it does. Okay, 30, 35 for 13 volts, 1 amp. Seventy watts. 100 watt 136 35 for 20 29 volts no, 186 watt for 9 for 30 volts for convert 24 to 20 to 30 volts 200 37 volts for for 28 it's become it's become very hot let's see now here 200 for 33 volts okay if you use this device for to convert 24 to 23 is not useful but anyway it's able to uh, provide for 30 for 30 volts it provide 150 volts 190 okay for 80 uh, 80 volts for 28 volts it provide 230 it becomes it becomes very hot so this little device is uh, is uh, very powerful but um, it's more powerful on 24 volts of course but uh, okay we can have the the acclimate power uh, for this device now let's test this one now we are connected uh, with the middle boost here uh, uh, unfortunately this uh, supply are very noisy we are connected on 12 volt here and um, this device is connected on 12 volts you can f see here the voltage output and you will see here the uh, the power uh, which um, which is able this device to provide so let's start here 40 volt you can see here 40 volt 40 volts, always 40 volts for 130 one, one uh, watts for 40 volts. So here how much? 
200 watts for 40 volts if we reduce resistor you can see the power significantly decreasing so the maximum power for this device is 200 for 40 volts so uh, this device is very nice and uh, so let's try it with uh, 24 volts now So the 24 volts are connected now. Here you have the clamp meter for to see uh, if the measurement here is the same than this one. And so now we are uh, we have always 40 volts on the output. This voltage here is uh, just for to supply the fans because uh, this resistor becomes very hot. And so we're trying to see the same and begin from from here. As you can see, 65 watts for 40 volts. So I will jump directly to this. 100 for 40 volts 180 volts for 36 volts very strange so 120 that's uh, very strange this is not the same re result and it's worked very it's worked badly this time 140 one four for uh, I don't really understand what, what what's happened with this stuff because when you increase voltage uh, on the input the um, the efficiency is not the same so it's have only 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 uh, only 140 well this is the maximum I guess 150 for 13 volts oh, okay so this device is a little bit strange it's uh, it's react uh, differently when you uh, when you apply all uh, height voltage on the input the efficiency uh, decreases significantly so okay uh, I, I guess for many purposes it's enough to have this device but it's uh, strange it don't react like like I was uh, expected so now let's try this one uh, which can be uh, a little bit dangerous because uh, it have high voltage on the output here let's try this one Okay, the 12 volts are connected to this um, unit and uh, as you can see during the test before I made the video the f uh, during the, the testing the power the, the fuse have, have completely blown so I put a little, little strap I hope it, it's, uh, it should be okay uh, before, before testing so now we are the 80 volt here output here we are the 80 volt here and so you need to be a little be careful with this because 80 volt is a little strong so we can use just switch on this one and see how the power is made I hope it doesn't burn okay 250 volts for 80 volts from 12 volts as you can see to 26 amps and here I'm going to test one one resistor now okay as you can see the strap I made have uh, have melt here uh, it's got some lot of power 
Okay, I need to uh, redo this uh, strap before before continuing. Okay, always eighty volts. Let's try again. Five hundred watts and fifty amps. Okay, uh, fifty amps. This is really. For 12 volts, it's work very nice. Um, it's hold perfectly the 8 AT volts, which is very nice. So uh, I guess if I push the the power, I will um, destroy uh, the fuse again. I think I need to to make 20 volt, 24 volt here for to for to decrease current. Let's uh, change the current. Now, okay, now this is um, always 80 volts, but uh, 24 volts now. For to um, to change the power factor, so um, we are going just to try by this one. 250 watts, and here 500, and we need to be careful now. So I will reduce the resistor here. 600 watts. Very careful now. 800 watts for 20, 44. Mm, not very good. Let's try again. 700. Okay. Okay. The maximum of this device is uh, uh, eight hundred watt RMS output for for eighty volts output. Because if I want to reduce the the resistor output, the power significantly decrease. As you can see here, I will have 800 watts, and and if I go here, I have less. So the, you can you can notice this device is maybe okay for 800 watt elements output, and uh, not 1,200. So uh, I think this is enough for today. I have uh, destroyed my big resistor with a spark gap here. Okay, this um, converter is uh, very powerful and uh, it can be very useful for many things for to have a more voltage. And um, you can see with this video it can it, it can have a lot of power with 12 volts or with a 24 volts for to have 80 volts for for some reason, some what you need to do with this kind of stuff. You can feel the heat of the resistor because I have forget to plug in the the fan of course. I you don't you don't want to, to touch this uh, resistor. It's uh, very hot. So uh, the good thing with this uh, this power meter it's uh, it, it can it can work with uh, uh, with uh, DC uh, uh, current or DC voltage and uh, with alternative current. Uh, this is the good thing with this uh, uh, power meter. So, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and um, see you soon.